Okay, so movie time again. Just letting you know things that I've been interested in. I watched this for the second time last night. It just came up on Amazon and I said, oh, I want to check that out again. I really like this movie. It's set in Tasmania. It has William Defoe in it, the guy from Platoon. And his, his character is awesome in it. I really like his character in this. Uh, it's a really minimalistic movie. It is slower paced, but somehow manages to kind of keep you watching. Um, I like the subject matter. It's basically a, a guy is hired by a company to go seek out this possibly extinct but maybe not extinct tiger in Tasmania and it has some properties that the military wants to use something to do with its DNA that the military wants and anyway Defoe goes in search of this elusive tiger and it has Sam Neill in it too which he has a small part but he's good in the movie as well and I just like the feel of this movie it's really sweet and and sentimental at times and has some beautiful shots of the countryside and I like the message of the movie it's kind of like the eternal you know the the soulless company has a way of just really screwing up people's lives and I like the message in the end of the movie I guess I can't give it away but I like Defoe's stance at the end of this movie it's kind of like a big middle finger to larger corporations that are really don't you know, value life. <laughs> they just don't value life. So, um, it's an interesting movie. I think it's worth watching. It's if if you want to know about me and my style and what I like, this is kind of like a hidden gem that I really think shows kind of the style and message of of a movie that I'm interested in. And it's just different because it's set in Tasmania and the characters are really cool and it's really like I said it's minimalistic and it does not have like all this action and things but somehow the little scenes add up and it does have its own kind of way of moving along and keeping you interested so yeah the hunter I guess it's from 2012, so it's an older movie, but I think it's worth a watch.